you'll hear these terms, shunt, dead space. And as a respiratory therapy student, you're like, what does all of this mean? Well, hopefully this video helps. Now, when we think about shunt, again, we're talking about pathophysiological mechanisms that create a situation to where pulmonary blood flow exceeds the uh, ventilation happening in the alveolar units. So that's why we said perfusion greater than ventilation. But what does that really mean and how and what does it result in for us at the bedside? Well, we have to go back to understanding just normal blood flow through the heart. Okay, so this is the right ventricle. And the right ventricle is responsible for pumping blood flow through the pulmonary capillaries. Remember, in this space right here, when the pulmonary capillaries interact with the alveolar units, this is where they pick up oxygen. You gotta remember that the blood in the right ventricle is deoxygenated blood. After it moves through the pulmonary circulation, in normal healthy lungs, it's going to pick up oxygen and return to the left atrium to where then it goes to the left ventricle and out for systemic circulation and ultimately oxygen delivery. And that's the way it normally works. But you see, when we have a shunt type situation, we're talking about things like atelectasis, things like consolidation, such as pneumonia, things like ARDS, pulmonary edema. You see, if you think about all of those, what you'll find is you have alveolar units that are either collapsed or filled with fluid or filled with some type of exudative consolidation. Now, all of that uh, is what's going to yield or it's going to impair the uh, alveolar units being ventilated appropriately. 